often called as the Halong Bay on land, located only two hours drive from Hanoi. Ninbin is filled with lush rice fields, dramatic limestone cliffs and winding waterways. Come and explore this beautiful part of northern Vietnam with us, Feeling Phuca. Good morning everyone from Ninh Binh, Vietnam. Sorry, I still look a bit tired. We have been staying here for about five days already, but the weather was always not in our favor. And now today it's a beautiful day and we want to finally show you something of Ninh Binh. But we're staying in this beautiful homestay that also have breakfast included. So first things first, we're gonna have breakfast. Morning. And Lee already ordered our breakfast. What are we going to have? One muesli boy and four for me. I love it that he's always ordering the local things. <laughs> and the pho here is really good. And we also got some Vietnamese coffee, but without condensed milk. <laughs> Like I already told you, we are still in our homestay and I just wanted to take a minute and show you around a little bit. So it has, I think, five rooms. It is pretty small, but it has a very nice pool. And then it is directly next to the river. And it's so nice at night. They have all the lights up here and they also have a restaurant. So everyone can come in also from outside to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatsoever. And for us, the breakfast is included and the dinner here is really, really nice. So most probably we're gonna show you the dinner of this place this night as well. And um, yeah, we've been having a very good time here and it cost us a 100 euros for six nights, which is a pretty nice deal. One thing, yes, I, I've been having problems with the internet here in, in Vietnam. So for work, for especially video calls, it's been a bit difficult. Uh, not only this homestay, but most of the places that we've been to is that they don't have stable internet. Uh, even And it's also hard to get um, plans with unlimited data or anything like that. So this been a bit, it was a bit of a problem here, but it's fine. So we just got our breakfast and I love it how much fresh fruit they have here in Vietnam. Well, all over Southeast Asia basically. And especially the bananas are very nice here, I'm surprised. They're really nice, really sweet. And they're small. Uh, they remind me a little bit of the Canary Island bananas. <laughs> How's the coffee? Mm. Oh, strong, black like my soul. That was good. Let's get ready and then we will tell you where we actually go. Let's go. So Ninh Binh is located in the south of Hanoi. It's about two hours by or van, bus or train. So it's pretty easy to come here. And Ninh Binh is also famous as Halong Bay on land. This is because of all the limestone, all limestones that you can see around here. And this is exactly what we're gonna do and see now, because we're gonna go to the, the river and take a boat tour through the beautiful limestones. As most of the homestays here, you can have bikes for free because most of the people go around here in bikes, but you could also rent a motorcycle to go there but I think it's only like 10 minutes drive in bike. So let's go on a bicycle and I hope that we will find a way. <laughs> we 
almost didn't see any of these limestones. Pobre Lee, que tiene una bici super lenta. Entonces vamos un poco más lento de lo normal. So we made it to the parking. It is 10,000 per bicycle and 15,000 per motorbike. Uh, but we're gonna have to pay later. He just put some paper on our bicycle and then later we have to pay it. And it's quite busy already. Now we're looking to find the ticket office. It's su supposed to be 250,000 for two people, uh, for one person. 250,000 dong for one person. Our plan is to do this, just the Chang'an boat tour. And here you have the possibility to go to some kind of village. I think it's an artificial village that they have built here. And that will cost you 50,000 more. But we're just interested in the boat tour. Two tickets? Uh, yes. So it's part, please. And again, it looks like a theme park here. I feel like everything touristic that they're doing here in, ta in Vietnam, they're almost doing like, like a theme park. Okay, so you can do this tour here in Trang An, or you can do a similar tour in Tam Kok, which is a little bit more famous and therefore a bit more crowded. Uh, in Tam Kok, the boat tour is one and a half hours and it also cost you 250,000 dong. Here it's about three hours and it costs you the same. And besides this, it's probably less crowded than Tam Kok. We went to Tam Kok to see the, um, the scenery there. <laughs> and there's all the bus tours going to Tam Kok to bring the people there. And here it looks more like people are actually coming here on the motorbike or on the bicycle to, to take the tour. So it's not so many bus tours. At least I haven't seen them, but we are also trying to go during the lunch break of the tours. So between 11 and 2 you should be fine because most of the tours are having lunch at this time. So this is our small secret. So there's always four people on the boat. You're not allowed to go only with two. So if you want to have a private tour, you basically have to pay double the price. So there are three routes that you can choose from, and we took the second route. Yeah. As you can see, I still have my beautiful new jacket on. Um, uh, there is a small temple in the middle of the lake here or the river. And she let us out here for like, I don't know, a few minutes. And then we can walk around here a bit and then we go back to the boat. Although Nimbin now feels to be a relaxing town in the countryside, it was once home to the capital of Vietnam. During the 10th and 11th centuries, Hoa Lu was the political, cultural and economic center of the country. It had a large citadel which was surrounded by the towering limestone mountains. Today, very little of the citadel remains, 
just a few tempos dedicated to the rulers of that time. Now we're on our second stop and actually I'm not quite sure what we can see here. There's a tempo. Oh. More tempo. Okay. But it's very nice here. It's suddenly it feels very tropical around here. Like the last few days it was just raining and cold and suddenly the sun is burning and it's super lush and green everywhere. Well, I think that's that's the tropical part. Here. Yeah, and she really likes the life jacket. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it off anymore. <laughs> I think that maybe three hours is a bit long for this tour and also the the local woman, our guide, that has she has to paddle the whole time. So she's very strong. It's like three hours of paddling. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Going through the caves was definitely our favorite part of this boat tour. The colorful lights added a very nice touch to the experience. And the boat lady definitely had some skills navigating through the narrow waterways. It was quite impressive to watch. And later on, we all helped the lady to row the boat because she has been doing it for so long and she told us that she does it multiple tours a day. Every day. So we have just arrived at the parking of the Moa Cave. <coughs> and it's already a little bit busy here, but when you're arriving by motor, motorcycle or by bicycle, be aware that there will be a lot of women who want to offer their private parking for you. Just go until the end. In the end you can park. They are a bit suicidal, they will just <laughs> jump in front of you. Yeah, and then just like, stop, 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 here parking. So. You don't have to do that. You can just go until the end. Okay guys, in this video you will not see any beautiful drone shots because we have lost our drone. We were flying through the mountains and signal was lost, drone was lost. Yeah, it was so beautiful flying over the, the rocks it was really nice during the boat tour, but sorry, we don't have any drone shots anymore. Okay, we're now inside of the well in the entrance and we have paid for both of the tickets 200,000 so it's 100,000 dong per person which is around four euros per person and we have paid 10,000 dong for two bicycles so which is around 15 cents yeah something like that nothing so it's really okay to come here pricing is nice and again it looks a little bit like a theme park here yeah. <laughs> So this is where most of the people are going, here, and they say that 
It's very slippery, the stones, especially when it's raining. And you can see here, up here, there are quite a few people waiting in line to get a photo. I like it that they have a trash can up here, so hopefully you will find less trash here. So the views up here are really incredible. It's beautiful scenery. I'm very sad that we cannot fly the drone here, but it's okay, it's okay. This is the beauty if you go up a mountain, right? Because you still have views. Um, and I think it's definitely worth coming here for four euros and just climb up the mountain because I think there's no other better view of all of these beautiful limestones. And the cell pier up here. <laughs> it's a huge plus. In Europe we always bring our own beer up to the summit and always. then it's warm. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. The views on the top of the mountain were definitely amazing, but the safety standards of the place was a bit questionable. The rocks were pretty sharp and quite slippery after the rain, so make sure to be very very careful if you decide to hike up there. I was a bit afraid when we climbed up the dragon. Do shisa. <laughs> Where are we going now? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Ham wa cake? Maybe ham means cake? No, don't means cake. He always says that it's called hang moa, but in English it's moa cave, so I think that it's cave moa. But you know, whoever knows it, you can put it down in the comments. He has found a new friend. So happy for him. Ah, I still had a quote. You creo que sí. I think this was already the cave. It was nice-ish. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing to see. I think people come just for the mountain. For the mountain. So now we're back at the hotel already for a few hours actually to get ready, to get showered. But now let's have dinner because I am starving and then we can call it a day. Okay, now we have ordered fresh spring rolls that are huge. They have so much vegetables inside and a little bit of meat inside, but you could also order them just with vegetables. And they have, they're the biggest that I have seen so far. So good. And then we have also ordered the fried spring rolls that we haven't tried so far here in this homestay. But they look very nice. And then we also ordered two rice pots. And so the rice comes in, in, in a clay pot. I'm not sure it's clay, but well, in a pot <laughs> with meat on top. So we have ordered one with goose and the other one with chicken sauce. And the rice afterwards is like really crispy and, and has like a, this is a little bit burned and it's just incredible. And since it's a little bit different of what you usually find, it's really, really nice. So now we're gonna show you the food. Hmm. 
I think it's one of the best that we had so far. It's really fresh. Sounds really crunchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we will. And we brought our special sauce from China. You remember that we crossed to China? Okay, so I'm now going to try the goose. Hmm. I didn't think that the texture will be like this. It's very soft and I think it's like marinated. It's pretty nice. It's very nice. So this is beef with pepper sauce and our chili sauce, of course. I um, actually already know how it tastes because we stayed here for one week and we ordered this dish for, I think, around three, four times. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> mm. One minute later. That's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed the video. We definitely liked our stay here and so far it has been our favorite place in northern Vietnam. Looking forward to see more of the south of the country. See you in the next one. First up, toilet. <laughs> <laughs>